Hi friends, it's Tim and Helen and we're back with Wine About Real Estate. Today we want to talk to you about the 2022 market prediction according to the National Association of Realtors. It's a mouthful. <laughs> Association of Realtors has a fantastic economist. Uh, Dr. And, Lawrence Yoon. Yep, Dr. Yes. Lawrence Yoon, and he came out uh, and with his market prediction for the next for this year. And we're all we've been on pins and needles because we've always been very curious as well. Uh, but it's kind of the same things that we're seeing in Atlanta. And of course, this is on a national level, but uh, you know, we're all the markets that we've seen uh, have strong indicators. Um, home sales are the best that they've ever been in 15 years. And so all the markets are seeing very strong growth. Yeah, so the housing uh, sector market will continue, but Dr. Yoon said that um, he does not expect the same performance of 2022 being equivalent to 2021. Yeah. Um, he's saying that he predicts sales will continue to be stronger than what it was um, before the pandemic but it's not going to be wild and crazy like 2021. Yeah, and I think a lot of our buyers, we can see that they're exhausted, they're tired, you know, mm -hmm. they went through the process last year, or sellers are they're trying to, they're thinking that they're gonna get like, you know, 40, 50 offers that they did, but we're seeing just really strong mm -hmm. offers coming through, and, you know, I think the housing market, and it, this goes for every year, and, you know, the housing market is always a strong segment uh, of the economy, and, we're going to see that again. So I, I do believe in his, uh, his prediction as well. Yeah, and he's saying that you, you should expect to see more inventory come into the market, especially with the end of the forbearance. So um, more homes yeah. will be available, and that in turn will create less of a competitive market. Yeah, for and, buyers. and the builders seem to be catching up. I know that the lumber prices have increased, so that I know that the prices are pretty strong um, than before, but we're definitely seeing a little bit more inventory. We should be seeing more inventory from the builders. We're seeing, we should be seeing some more uh, inventory from the sellers. Um, as many homeowners may be forced to sell so they don't avoid foreclosures and stuff like that. But um, it's, it's, I think that we'll definitely see some more inventory. Yeah, and then mortgage rate too. He's expecting mortgage rate to increase. Um, hopefully not too much. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's still a good time for buyers to buy. Um, it's not like it was in 2021. But it's still a good healthy market. Absolutely. And we are see we are expected to uh, have home prices to continue to increase. Mm -hmm. uh, but just again at a, at a slower pace, we're not probably seeing the crazy price increases that we saw. But we're definitely expected to see another at least another year or two uh, home home prices to increase. Which means if you've been on the fence and if you're kind of exhausted from last year, um, it this may be a good time to jump back in. We have a couple buyers that are like, you know what? Uh, before the rates go up again and before the prices go too crazy. I want to build some equity in my home. I don't want to pay rent because uh, the rental prices are going up as well. And with the rental prices going up, this may be a good time to buy. So definitely reach out if you have any further questions and we'll be more than happy to kind of guide you through it. But until then, cheers. cheers. <laughs>